Hey folks, Brandon here from The Real Estate CPA. We're gonna talk about how you should be accounting for your flips. Flips are treated much differently than rental property. When we have rental property, they're considered capital assets and we depreciate them over a period of time. So the accounting for rental property looks very different than flips. Flips are not considered capital assets. Instead, they're considered inventory. So when I spend money, I don't actually get a deduction for that money. Instead, I put it on the balance sheet as inventory. And what that means is that when I file my tax return, I don't get to write off the money that I've spent unless I sell the flip. So if I sell the flip in the year that I'm preparing a tax return for, then I get to back out all of the expenses associated with that flip. But if I spend $100,000 on a rehab in say December, and I don't sell the rehab until January of next year, I don't get to write off that $100,000 on my current year taxes. I have to wait until next year's taxes because that's when I sold the flip. Now we recommend that you use QuickBooks Online for your accounting software. And we recommend that you get really detailed when you're accounting for these flips. So for a lot of our clients, when we pull up the balance sheet, it'll literally say flip 4915 Elmhurst Drive, and then it'll have sub accounts for each component of the property. And the reason that we wanna break it down and be really detailed is so that in the future, you have a budget that you can use for your future projects. If you have any other questions about flips or anything related to accounting, hit us up at therealestatecpa.com. We love this stuff and we'd love to help you.